So Dr. Gita Didi is known to everyone. It does not need any introduction to the volunteer group, but still for the formality, I do that. Didi is an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science, Government Arts and Science College, Avinashi, Tamil Nadu. She attended the USB introductory in November 2020 and further in January 2021. And she's moderating in the weekly meetings, handling sessions at uh, the students' development programs. Uh, she's part of the Tamil translation team, very active member. And she's also a co facilitator in face to face uh, uh, FTPs. And she is uh, attending the morning session from the second batch onwards. So, with this, I welcome uh, Gita Didi for sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Baya. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Sabiko, Namaste. So, Sunil Baya has introduced me. So let me go on to my family. My husband, Mr. S. Sambath Kumar, he is running a typewriting institute, Xerox, and he does computer job work. Our son, Monish, got married recently, and our daughter-in-law name is Abhi. As Sunil Bhaiya stated, I got associated with UHV from November 2020 during the pandemic period. Thereafter, I completed UHV refresher part one and part two subsequently. Attending UHV morning sessions from Jan 2, 2021 almost regularly. Sharing my understanding emerging out of exercise one and exercise two. Exercise one. First and foremost step is to be aware every moment and to observe the feelings in the imagination without reaction. The most important step. By this time, that is my three and a half years association with UHV, I am able to understand that for all the problems outside, the solution lies inside. If I wish the external situations, people, environment should not influence me, then I have to work inside, within. The secret lies here. The truth is, all my expressions, behaviors to the outside world are first decided by my inner feelings. So it is very significant to observe my feelings every moment. Initially, to start with, it was a big challenge to me. First, I didn't try at all. Then I asked, what's the big point in observation when there are problems outside? But slowly, it dawned to me that exercise one, step one makes sense. Then when I decided and set time to observe within, there were so many distractions. I was flowing with the thoughts always, jumping from one thought to another, not able to see my feelings. But knowing the significance of step one, my decision to stay on, all my efforts and the outcome of it, because more and more moments of peace and harmony within. So the outcome of it has paid off. Now. My observation has increased a lot, but not all the times. Moving to next. If I observe within, then steps two and three follows in quick succession because it is associated with feelings and natural acceptance. Initially, I was having the doubt why to see the feelings because thoughts are very gross to me, easy to me. Now I am able to understand with the thoughts, it, very, it is very hard to decide right or wrong because it is varying from person to person. But with respect to feeling, there are only two choices for all the people. If my feelings are in line with natural acceptance, then it puts me in harmony. 
if my feelings are not in line with natural acceptance then it puts me in disharmony and everyone is bestowed with this innate faculty called natural acceptance it is our guru inside secondly working with thoughts and expression will not lead to a sustainable and permanent solution initially myself my and my husband used to enter into arguments quite often because of that i will be unhappy at the end of the day we will not talk to each other for days to ease the situation i will talk i will initiate the dialogue but with a feeling of opposition it will work for few days once the difference between us pitches in again the so again the whole pattern of argument will repeat all my new year resolutions promises advice from parents sisters friends everything will go in vain all will fail so now i am able to understand it was like a patchwork working at the surface level deep down my feelings are not right my feelings are not natural so i was always unhappy so that is why it is it becomes essential for me to observe and work on the feelings rather than on my thoughts and expressions moving ahead step 4 who decided the feeling that i have at this moment recently for college work to solve an issue with computer i called one of my student for whom i always have a feeling of relationship four to five times but every time i found that his phone was busy so i waited that he will call me back assuming since i am calling him continuously he will know that it must be something important that is why madam is calling continuously but he did not return my call also i was assuming that he will cut his call as it was busy and will call me back immediately but that too did not happen i could see my feeling of opposition towards him building up every time i found his call was busy again i called him this time i could reach him and i asked him to come to the department with anger and agitation the first thing i asked him was why you didn't attend my call continuously he said ma'am now only i received your call and i immediately attended it then i showed my call history five times i had called him then immediately he showed his call history only one time i had called him puzzled i asked how it is possible he said so humbly and innocently maybe there was no tower or signal problem madam once i realized that it is my mistake at that very moment the feeling changed from feeling of opposition to feeling of relationship towards him one more interesting anecdote one day i was leaving from home to college i received a phone call it was a new number reluctantly with a feeling of opposition because it's time for my college so reluctantly i picked up the call on the other end a staff introduced herself i said okay with a rough tone then she said ma'am with your permission we would like to include you in our board of studies panel next moment with a smile and feeling of relationship i said yes and thank you initially i picked up the call assuming it is it as a nuisance call then when i came to know that it is an offer to me i got excited so i could clearly observe yes i am the one 
who is deciding my feelings step 4 i need to work more because still i am complaining about others and situations this happens when i am carried away by the external events that means at that moment i am not observing myself one more small example when i am boiling milk i get irritated if the milk spills and the and it spoils the gas stove because on, only because of my mistake as it was as i was busy with other tasks the milk spilled but it takes time to come to term to come to terms with myself step 5 helps to see on what basis i decided my feelings with the first example i was having the assumption that the student must attend my call he must call me immediately because he is my student another interesting example if i clean my house my assumption will be the house has to be always clean next day if i see cobwebs spiders dust i get irritated easily one more observation during a meeting one of the faculty said your suggestions will not work so it is rejected i was quite upset as if i was rejected here my assumption was i i am equal to my opinions as a result if my opinions are rejected i assume that as if i am rejected but i am not my opinions also i am not others opinions others comments i am higher than their opinions above thoughts but all these are only pieces of information to me so all these were gross misunderstandings emerging out of my assumptions and because of that i was only unhappy at disharmony so 100% i am responsible for my happiness as well as for my unhappiness steps 6 and 7 are helping me to extrapolate from individual myself to the whole nature and existence i was always thinking about myself my life my likes and dislikes my comfort zone my problems thoughts revolving only about me but their reality is i am just a speck of dust in this vast universe only because of my imagination i am creating problems for myself and i suffer so steps 6 and 7 draws my attention about other units and their harmony the very design of nature is to ensure the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence among all units so as to be in harmony in continuity if i am able to understand and see this reality i will be able to decide my feelings always in line with natural acceptance so that i will be in a state of happiness in continuity so in exercise 1 steps 1 and 4 are very challenging to me if i get through steps 1 and 4 then i will be able to able to see it clearly for myself step 5 slowly i am able to see few of my assumptions but steps 6 and 7 are not yet in its completeness moving to exercise 2 these days i am able to see and differentiate the two distinct entities self and body self is the seer doer enjoyer experiencer and decision maker self is central to my existence body is a sophisticated tool used by the self after batch 9 i am observing some of my day to day activities like when i get up from bed i take a pause to see who decided to get up from bed body or the self when i enjoy the morning coffee i ask myself who is enjoying the coffee 
body or the self when i go to college i observe myself who decided to go to college body or self such frequent observations strengthen the distinction between self and body so they are two distinct and separate entities steps 2 and 3 if i observe i am able to see the interaction between self and the body and it is the self that initiates the transaction and reads the sensation from the body as and when required then step 4 sensations are in the body i am not the sensation and i am not in the sensation and the self only decides when to read and what to read one simple example for this step after brushing i drink warm water daily if i am busy with my thoughts i don't read the sensation of hardness of the tumbler but if i observe i could feel the hardness of the tumbler so the heat sensation is there in my fingers i can feel only if i decided to read that sensation moving to step 5 very very significant step for me a step that helps me to improve a lot giving meaning to sensation based on my sanskars there are quite a lot of examples but let me share only three quick incidents my predominant sanskar is ego i get can water to my department whenever students come to the department to drink water immediately i think i only got that water similarly once i got a new shuttle racket from my daughter in law i gave my racket to the students to play whenever they play with that racket i identify with pride that they are playing with my racket also at this juncture i would like to share that i help one or two i help one or two students to pay their exam fees almost regularly for every sem but equally i am seeing that i am fluctuating at both ends i am helping and also i am having that ego that i have helped them next example if someone blames me for no mistake of myself and they are not ready to discuss with me and if i don't have any chance or means to prove myself i wish them to be punished by god and i conclude that they will suffer the consequences here i am not able to see their trust on intention the meaning i am giving is their behavior equal to their intention so this is a gross mis- misunderstanding but here i think high of myself that god will never let me down because i am so good third example for this sharing also i am over evaluating myself that everyone will be keen or interested to listen to me so it is like a twin blade i am meticulously preparing for the sharing also but i want my sharing to the best but i am sure if i over evaluate myself always surely it will be a big downfall for me a big obstacle in my progression moving to step 6 with respect to st- steps 6a and 6b my reactions are coming down and my responses are more this is for sure at our sorry at home whenever i see things messed around immediately i will get upset petty things like disorganized mat a displaced bottle in the kitchen shelf wet towel on the bed scattered newspaper are sufficient for me to react since i am keeping the house clean here my ego since i am organizing the things i was getting disturbed but now 
a big shift in myself when i come back from college and i and if i see things disorganized i am not irritated always i am not getting upset always only few times it has drastically reduced so with a feeling of relationship and participation i arrange things but i need to work more on step 6b for right understanding right feeling and right evaluation moving to step 7 my assumption about space is there must be some supreme power that is coordinating all events connecting all units which is none other than space so summarizing exercise 2 with respect to exercise 2 when i observe yes i can see step 1 steps 2 to 4 logically i can see steps 5 step 5 though not at that very moment of late i can see where i have responded where i have reacted and i am able to see that sanskar step step 6a i am able to see few of my dominant sanskars like ego always thinking high of myself i want things to happen in my way quick to judge others i can't easily let it go i am always good at preaching than practicing also i am lazy i am anxiety step 6b i am working towards right understanding but more often these days more often i am accessing my natural acceptance and i am enjoying its benefits step 7 is still an assumption i still remember the first day 2 11 i got exposed to uhv proposals from that day 1 to till date that is today my enthusiasm vigor and participation has not has not at all reduced it it has got strengthened only at times i will go low when my old pattern repeats but sooner or later i will realize that working inside working within myself is the only way to get up get out of it then fourth happiness is my innate nature for quite some time i was not able to accept this truth because i was not able to see this in my life in my living but now i am able to understand if i observe and fix my feelings moment by moment in accordance with natural acceptance continuous happiness will be a natural outcome of it which is the innate nature of the self one more interesting observation with respect to step 4 i am sorry that uh, uh, happiness is my innate nature anger fear hatred jealousy anxiety ego resentment or not the qualities or attributes of the pure self these are unnatural feelings as light dispels darkness if i have natural feelings consistently then automatically unnatural feelings will dispel on their own but sometimes i find my ego enmity hatred so overpowering than my innate naturally acceptable feelings that's because over the years maybe the lifetimes i have strengthened my ego so now it has become my sanskar that is why the unnatural feelings appears to be my innate nature let me repeat it appears to be my innate nature and it seems to be dominant but as ganesh ji and sharmila didi used to say that self has the capacity and potential to observe the imagination and set our feelings naturally in line with natural acceptance so i can set it right after my association with uhv for the past 3 and 1/2 years more and more moments of happiness and harmony in my life before uhv i was having everything but i was not happy always there was something missing a void in my life 
and i was suffering because of my own assumptions yes now i am able to see the hope and the possibility that happiness can be my innate nature but i have a long way to go daily i am progressing towards it and it is the driving force for my self exploration truly it is a fulfilling experience a journey worth pursuing reaching the destination may take some time but i am completely enjoying the journey inside a journey within myself regarding my commitments i am volunteering myself as sunil bhaiya has stated in the weekly meetings and monthly meetings also i am i am a part of tamil translation team also i have i have handled few sessions in student workshop also as a co facilitator in two of the face to face workshop attending morning sessions volunteering myself in uhv activities sharing values and self exploration or daily reinforcing me towards right understanding it is not the light at the end of the tunnel it is a light towards every step i move forward but still i need to volunteer more explore more i have to contribute more and i will continue my uhv journey for the rest of my life today also i have asked both my son and daughter in law to listen to my live sharing today hope they are listening thank you to all with gratitude to the entire existence once again let me thank one and all thank you gidadidi for this uh, elaborate and exemplify sharing so as we know um, all know that we you are always there with us asking so many questions and helping all of us in uh, continuity thank you didi thank you for your enthusiasm and liveliness in the sharing um because of uh, time limitation i now request shambhala didi to give her comments and remarks regarding uh, gita didi sharing shambhala didi over to you ji namaste geeta ji didi so, namaste didi sorry i took long time didi this time that's okay, okay. uh you have been exploring with us for quite some time like you mentioned and a lot has changed in your perspective i can see that the growth is visible it took quite some time in the beginning i think to um, to be able to relate to this perspectives and slowly with time i can see the changes that are happening in you the volunteering activities have been going on for quite some time in the initial phase i remember that you used to feel that uh, it will take away too much time but now you are able to uh, do that also very well so uh, i can see the growth and i can see that uh, the exploration is going on now it is time to look at the more subtle um you know the sanskars like you were mentioning the acceptances that we have that are driving our feeling and uh, i know that the journey has started you are looking at the sanskars also um as time goes i am sure that uh, you know you will continue with this journey and will continue with the volunteering activities your um, uh, contribution even in terms of the sharing in the morning sessions is uh, very um, useful for all the participants many have mentioned previously also and uh, today also your crisp sharing of you know the whole span that you have spent with uhv it was put in a very nice manner uh, something that i am sure many uh, participants will be able to relate to so with all of this um you know best wishes for your onward journey also um for all your participation your volunteering and the self exploration also all the very best to you thank you didi thank you to all all my co explorers for helping me in this journey once again let me thank one and all